Hey guys, before we get into the normal intro, and I'll roll it back, roll it back, I have someone that I want you to meet. Meet Forky. Forky has been one of my best pals. Um, he doesn't have his googly eyes right now, but everyone give a warm welcome to Forky. <coughs> He's a little shy. Hey guys, Victoria here, and welcome to the geeky sandbox anyways guys enough talking you saw my whole little like cringy spork thing at the top of this video we are doing a non-spoiler review over the movie toy story 4. i finally saw toy story 3. i know i am a heathen i am the worst person in the world i've seen x y and z movie but it just took me so long to watch toy story 3 uh, partially because i had it spoiled for me and um, but I still wanted to eventually enjoy it. So of course my boyfriend was judging me. My friends were judging me, but I finally did see it. But, um, all of that to say, um, I don't know. I feel like I have a complete journey now, uh, seeing Toy Story 4. I don't even think I need to explain. All of you guys already know what Toy Story is about with our pals, Woody, Buzz, Bo Peep, like everybody, everyone knows exactly who all of these characters are, except maybe you don't know about Forky. We have a new character that joins the crew and everything. Um, but I don't know. It was a delightful movie. It was very delightful. It was light. It was fresh. Um, of course there were a few moments where they try to pull on your heartstrings, but I'll talk a little bit more about that whenever I get to talking about the script, but character wise, everybody, I mean, how can you go wrong, right? You have these nostalgic characters and you just have Tom Hanks. Let's talk about Tom Hanks for a little bit. I made a joke after we saw the movie and I was like, Steven, Tom Hanks is going to get an Oscar. Tom Hanks is just amazing. He's just an amazing person and he's just an amazing performer. We've seen that time and time again. And it's just amazing to see that he was able to step back into his role as Woody and add a new layer to it, you know, at his age and things he's even experienced. Because there are certain themes throughout Toy Story 4 that can weigh heavy on your heart now that we're all in our late 20s, mid 20s, early 30s, like whatnot. Like I feel like we can relate to some of those things of maybe fear or not knowing the future or not being certain about where you currently are right now. And I feel like Tom Hanks was able to really, really, really dive into that and just give Woody another layer on top of the layers we already got to see him have throughout the first three films. Definitely Tom Hanks was definitely my, one of my favorite parts of the movie, which I, I mean, I liked Woody, you know, growing up, but he was never my favorite character. But this put a whole new light on Woody and Tom Hanks, of course. There were a lot of funny gags and of course, familiar voices that you hear come back and new voices that kind of join in. And that's, I mean, that's always delightful just to hear people from other shows and things like that. Two of the new characters that join, Key and Pill, hilarious that you guys already know their comedy duo they're unstoppable they're hilarious they're both intelligent smart and very creative so it makes sense that they would put these two together to play those two characters and it's just amazing to just kind of just be with your best friend and shoot the breeze on screen as characters i was telling steven that and how i thought that was that had to be fun to shoot so they were also very enjoyable at first i was a little unsure but very 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 enjoyable of course guys you know buzz Buzz actually had a lot of funny moments within this movie and I loved it. Tim Allen did a good job with the humor and the delivery and the timing and all of that. That was really, really good. Which is like, you wouldn't think you would need to have that comedic timing as an animated character, but you do. And I feel like it was, he has some pretty interesting and funny bits along with, like I said, uh, Key and Pills characters. And Christina Hendricks, who plays the new character in the film, Gabby Gabby, did amazing. She, um, one thing about that I liked about this movie was that there wasn't a clear black and white, and I guess I'll transition into the script with that. There wasn't a clear black and white, this person's good, this person's evil. And um, I know Steven pointed that out. He was just saying like, it's one of those things where we're used to it, like, oh, this person's wrong, this person's right. But it was a thing of like, this person isn't wrong, their opinion is just different. Or the way they wanna get to this point is just slightly different. So I do appreciate that outlook. And I do feel like that's true for the new character, Gabby Gabby. She has a certain way she wants to do something and it may look a little um, evil at first, you know what I mean? But you know, I don't wanna give much away, but I like that they were able to give layers to that whole traditional good versus evil thing and you know with the script being like that where there wasn't like this true oh you know 
this person's good, this person's evil, this person's this, this is what this person's gonna do. Like it all just kind of um, unravels as, as you go along throughout the film. In some ways that does, that does kind of hurt the film just because it's like, oh, well, we're just here having a good time, which is great. I love that. Um, but when in regard to, I don't wanna say character development because like I said, Woody has a lot of character development, but I guess in regard to certain characters reaching a new point, you don't necessarily get that. But I mean, who cares, right? It was still an amazing movie and I think the script was well done. It was well written and it's just something that anybody can enjoy. Um, the kid I was sitting like next to, he was probably like, probably about 16 or something like that. And he just brought his buddy out and they were watching the movie, ordering food. And then I'm right here in my late twenties and my boyfriend's over here and he's 30. I just felt like the script was, I don't know. It was amazing enough to be able to capture people that were five years old in the front that have no idea what's going on. And then people um, within our age group. So that was very, very, very awesome. And it's crazy. Like there have been a lot of videos going around here lately, just talking about the evolution of Pixar animation to where they are now. Just kind of seeing Toy Story 1 in 1999 versus Toy Story 4 here in 2019. It was still amazing back then in 1999. And even just seeing that now, it's still holds up just fine like even the comparisons that are going around with lion king back when it came out to the new uh live action version that they're doing now those movies back then still hold up just fine now like i'm not i, I don't want my future kids to sleep on those movies they are probably going to have them on dvd but all of that to say like i like seeing the evolution still just kind of seeing just i don't know the way the shadows shift and i don't know it's just interesting to see that within those characters and within the set um, so that was also amazing to just watch too. But yeah, it's, it just says a lot about the animation team that they're able to still capture that essence that the very first movie had. I mean, of course there were two other movies in between these, those two, right? But it's, it's, it's crazy that they were still able to capture that essence and still show how they've evolved and they've grown as artists. I have so much respect for them and because it's something that I'm just so in awe of. Like I think of how much time it took them to do that. Like I'll probably insert a clip here and there just to show you guys some of the stuff I've seen in regard to just even maybe um, Bo Peep. You guys have seen her in the promo. Like her like yeah, sliding around and you know using her little um, I was gonna say hook staff to just get around. Like you just seeing that difference between then and even the facial expression, seeing that now versus then, it's really breathtaking. But anyways, guys, what do I give Toy Story for? I give Toy Story for a five out of five geeks. You know, like is any movie perfect? No, but Toy Story four was amazing. So. I was debating whether I was going to give it a perfect score, but why not, guys? It's an amazing movie. It's fun. It's enjoyable. Um, it was smooth. It's a movie that I would go see again. It's a movie I would probably get on DVD if I start collecting all of my Disney Pixar stuff once again. But I really enjoyed it, and I think you will too. But anyways, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a like right down below. And of course, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can get more videos like this one. And until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.